Good morning and win forever, people of grace. Beloved sons and daughters of the Most High, you are welcome. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Father, come and lead, come and protect. Where they are sitting, where they are praying from, where they are listening this voice from, Lord. Those who are behind the scene listening, trusting in you, having eager to know who are you, God, to know you more. Who is Mama Ruth? Who is God? Who is Jesus? Father, these are the chosen ones. From day one they were born. You gave them, Father, your spirit. To lead, to change their families, to pray. To have patience, more importantly. Lord, we love you. Holy, we love you. Holy, we adore you. The King of glory. Father, bless them, O oh Lord. Give them a hearing heart. Father, lead the meeting. Destroy destruction. Ban destruction. O oh, Holy One of Israel. Monitoring spirits. Demons that monitor and steal from them. Search and destroy them, Lord. Father, they belong to you. Change them, Lord, to be better in your eyes. Redirect them. Remove the challenges that are crying about. O oh, Father. They have cried and wait upon you. They know that, Lord, you will perfect at your time. Because you said it in a book of life, we must have patience. Father, it started a long time ago with all the prophets and the chosen one to have waited patiently to you. We shall continue to wait in Jesus' mighty name. Lead us, Ebenezer, and take control. Amen. We love you, Lord. We'll still bow before your throne and honor your name. We love you, Lord. The protection that you show us. We are alive. We didn't die. You are holy. We are alive. Because of your caring love. Because of dressing us with the armor. And all carrying the shift. To make us, Father, giant in the spirit. With your power that you instill and bestow upon us. We love you. Amen. And amen. You are welcome. Children of the Most High God. You are loved by God and Mama Ruth I love you also. You are welcome. I will continue to pray for you. I will never stop. I will do listen to the voice of my Papa when he say pray for this. My Papa is my God, my Jesus, Holy Spirit. Yes. Because they lead us. They tell us what to do. God bless you for listening. We are getting our script reading from the book of Psalm 40. Psalm 40. Verse 40. Psalm 40. Not 14. 40. 40. 40. Yes. It's about a Papa David. You know David when he prayed. And he sing, he used the harp and sing and all the instrument while he's praying, calling his father. That is why praying and worshiping, it bring, connect you straight to Father God. It make the Holy Spirit to come down because heaven is only songs. When you are in a vision coming near the heaven, you will hear songs, songs and songs and praises. And all the archangels of heaven singing holy, holy, holy. So children of God, continue to sing to your papa. When a song comes, sing. Sometimes after singing, you'll find that when you are sleeping, you are continuing. Angels are singing with you because singing is powerful. God bless you. Here we are again. Holy Spirit, come take control. Hence, Mama Evelyn said it. Yes, the book of Psalm 40. Let's read verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and hear my cry. David, Papa David, a beloved friend of God, he waited, a friend and a servant, he waited patiently. You hear that? He waited because this thing of our Papa answering late. He answered at his time. That is why we have to have Passion. That's why it's vital that we must pray for what? Patience. Patient. Be patient. Be patient. 
whatever you ask from him, whether it's sickness and disease, as long as you cry unto him, because he said, we must cast our burdens unto him. Once you cast it, wait upon him. While you are already started to thank him, while you cast the burden of none job, no job, no interview, cast it to him. While you are waiting and saying thank you because it's coming. While you are waiting for your business to now to be successful and all uh, uh, the clients will come. Father, I know you are still pre, uh, pre, uh, preparing my clients. That will come. That won't come with spirits. That will never come to come and enter and steal from me. You are preparing the Holy One. You continue to thank Him. Even while He's still healing you, while you are, He's still removing that sickness and afflictions of Satan, because every sickness you are carrying comes from darkness. While you are waiting for the marriage to happen, Father, thank you because you are preparing my marriage. Father God, to attract is attracted by faith. Just believe, trust, hope, faith. You pray for it, that the heart must have all this. Mm -hmm. Then you will wait patiently upon him like David. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and hear my cry. So after waiting, the result will come. I pray that your heart must carry patience. Be patient. Be patient upon your Lord until it manifests in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 2. He lifted me out of the slimy pit. Meaning, sl uh, sorry, slimy, slimy pit. Meaning a clay, that miry clay. He lifted me out, up. What was that miry clay? Slimy miry clay. Slimy pit. If you recall one time I said when they cage, they can cage you in the deep, deep uh, hole or whatever. And that is a cage when you dream about it. Or being caged in the room. Or like a room as if it's a cell. Or police cage uh, no, locking you. It's all cages. So meaning David was caged. David could not move forward and back. David was like us now, having problems. But my father, while he constantly cried unto him. He listened and come after waiting patiently. He didn't pray that later I will be done now. I want it tomorrow. Uh -uh. Someone was telling me one day I cannot get a job. I said because I know you don't go to church. But I went once. So once I went there, I thought after this everything will be fine. It doesn't work like that, children of God. It doesn't work like that. You have to activate something. He said it in the Bible, first seek my face. All the things will follow. That's what Papa David is telling us. <laughs> he waited and at the end it happened. In that cage of slimy pit, he couldn't move forward. How will you sleep? How will you move forward? When you want to walk, you, you become a, a, a slippery and then you fall. When you try to try the other angle, you become slippery and fall. That is a cage where David was caged. So here we have to cast it unto him. And then Papa will answer. And then after casting, we wait patiently. We pray and then we say thank you. This is what our dead in the Lord, sinner prophet, to be sure, the saint of God, used to say. You don't know how to pray. That's why we don't receive. Are you go, you kneel. Holy Ghost, fire. The Holy Ghost, fire. Go, fire. Which is north, west, east, south. Fire, fire. Which is go. My brother, you are a witch. My sister, you are a witch. Go. You don't pray to say, Father, forgive my sins. After forgiving of things, Father, thank you for the life. After for thanking for the life, Father, those spirits operating in my family. You said it in the book of Matthew that all the enemies come from our families because Satan used them. I pray that it must go. But answer the fire, fire, holy, holy, amen. Mm. I know, man, Father, you will do it for me. Come, time to fast. No, Father, let me see next week. I'm too angry. I will die. I can feel it. That is devil. He's distracting you. Pray for the spirit of distraction. Holy Father, I pray that whatever distraction, that darkness has Father polluted these children of God not to know you, not to move forward. Let it be broken. That slimy P 
pit, slimy pit of the mighty clay where David was. Anyone in this listening to me, listening to me in this father morning session that is under that cage of slimy pit. When they move forward, they cannot go. Father, let it be broken by the path of ghost. Be disconnected. Go. Slimy pit. A dry up so that a child of God can come out from the cage. A dry up, you slimy pit. A child of God listening will come out from the pit. A dry up and become powerless in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> While he said our sins are that slimy pit, out all out of the miry clay, he said, he set me free. He set him free. And he gave him what? A firm place to stay, to stand. That's what I just pray now. After that he removed that pit, become dry. And our Papa, lift him up. I pray that after you are lifted, may your Father set your feet in the kingdom of heaven. May you walk in the highway of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your feet be fitted with the heavenly power and anointing. In Jesus' mighty name. Verse 4. Sorry. Verse 3. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. What did I say? He praising and worship attract your Papa. While you pray, one woman of God says, I pray and worship one day until I saw heaven open. It happened to me once. I was in Nigeria last year. Not Nigeria, I was at the synagogue last year. While in the prayer mountain, I was praying non-stop, Mama Ruth pray, until I saw a, something that God was revealing me unto him, unto me, revealing it to me, though he, it, it was not a long a, a vision, day vision, but he was revealing because we were singing non-stop. I pray that my father must give your heart an edge, an edge to sing, an edge to worship him, an edge to direct him while he connects with your heart so that you can listen what you want to say. I pray that what block you not to hear Father God as a marine kingdom, an ancestral spirit, that's how they block children of God. I break that link, let them be destroyed and all the idol spirit be removed in your heart. Be removed and break that link in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Many will see and hear and hear the Lord and put their trust in him. Verse 4. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord who doesn't look to the proud to those who run aside to false gods. Verse 5. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you have planned for us. None can compare you, compare with you, where I to speak and tell of your deeds. There will be too many to declare. That is the book of Psalm 40 from verse 1 to verse 5. May God bless you while you are reading today. Psalm 40, 40 from verse 1 to verse 5. Children of God, when you look at verse 5 and listen carefully, now David was continued to what? To praise Father God and say it. In other ways, he was saying that I can stand in the front of the congregation of God where they are assembled, all where people are filled in that room and give thanks. But I cannot do that because if I do that, the whole day they will be listening to me because my testimonies are too many. But it happened when you wait patiently upon him. And you cast the burdens and say, do let your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. May God Almighty bless you. May the finger of God destroy that wicked evil, evil pollution from the kingdom of darkness. Why it block you not to read the weight? It block you not to see, not to connect with Father God. 
It block you not to have patience. May my father, his finger and his hand be upon you and break those chains and release the light of God. And release the light of God. May you conquer any plan of the enemy. That plan to kill, steal and distract you. May you conquer the snare of the enemy that he put to trap you like a bird and harm you and torture you. May you overcome in every challenge in the name of Jesus Christ. I say the thing of God to locate where your name has been written in the evil darkness of kingdom. Be removed by the thing of God. And my Father God, direct your steps. Be resurrected, child of God. I can feel the power of God coming to assist you. May you be resurrected from those dead bones, dead organs, dead fluid, dead veins, dead arteries of the heart, dead brain, not thinking well, confusion, the spirit of madness, confusion, let it be destroyed. I pray that your eyes be like God, to see invisible, to see the plan of the enemy, and to descend. I pray for descending spirit. Whatever Father speak within your heart, learn to descend in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God bless you. May it destroy every spirit. The spirit of darkness. Silence the initiation, the voice of initiation of darkness. And give you power to overcome the initiation by feeding. Feeding you when you're sleeping. In the name of Jesus. May the light of God be upon you and shine in every area of your life. Whether it's career, whether it's your body, your fluid system, whether your business, your finances, your finances, all your CV, your resumes, where you are prepared to send it to different jobs. May favor be upon every document that you are carrying. Favor upon your businesses. Favor upon your finances. Favor upon your face, your body. Your face to be called favor. In order to receive from destiny helpers to look for you. I destroy that spirit that is destroying, blocking your destiny helpers. May the thing of God locate them and bring back to you. You shall rise, you shall never fall. Always remember, child of God, you are the jobs of today. You shall suffer. You shall be tortured. But job, have patience. You shall win. You shall get the double like what God did to Job. No matter how, do not start to look for help on different gods. Those are false gods. Continue to hold on and cry upon our Lord. He shall heal your family. He shall heal your children. He shall give you strength and power and anointing. In Jesus' mighty name. May God bless you. The power of the Ghost follow you wherever you go. Going out and coming back. May you overcome all the errors of darkness. Like the book of Psalm 91 has said it. You shall never be pierced. The arrow, when it comes, it will be broken. It shall never reach you. You will witness on the right, left. It shall never come near you. No evil shall come and befall in your dwelling. In Jesus' mighty name. Emmanuel, God is with you. And shalom.